Greetings everyone. I've got a doozy for you today. This is a 2023 Raptor 424 toy hauler. So I'm going to try to cover as much as I can, but there's a lot to feature on this. So first off, it's 15,500 pounds, triple axle. It sleeps seven people. So it sleeps a lot of people, okay? We've got a 94 gallon fresh tank, 82 gallon gray, 82 gallon black. 50 amp service because this thing is loaded with ACs. I already mentioned it was triple axle, 13 foot garage, which I'll talk more about that when I get back there. We'll talk about the exterior a little bit while we're here. You've got a high gloss exterior. It is a la uh, laminated sidewalls, frameless dual pane windows, G-rated tires on this, okay? You have an uh, hidden behind that little flap right there. You've got an Onan 5,500 watt gas generator, six point auto leveling system. You'll see you've got nice size storage up here at the front. I'll show you the garage here in a minute. Two powered awnings on this bad boy with uh, LED lights. So you've got plenty of shade cover out here. Outside speakers, you see you've got the two entries, one into the main uh, portion of the camper and then the other into the garage. I do want to show you if I can get to it, the all-in-one command center that we have over here. So as you see, everything you need to get to, this came loose right here. I'll fix that in a minute. Everything you need to get to is right here. You can do your tank flush. You can do your tank fill. All of your hoses and cords will go. That's going to drive me nuts, but I can't reach it right now. Um, all of your hoses and cords will go through here. So it's nice and tucked away and hidden. Close this off. You're good to go. Uh, let's show you on the back real quick. I forget the size. You guys will have to excuse me. I remembered a lot of other details, but I can't remember the size of the gas tanks on this. But you do have gas tanks. I'll talk about the rear patio and deck here in a moment. So tucked right in there, you've got your fuel tanks as well as your dispenser. Then you get to see the other side of the camper. You do have an awning here on the back. You also have, um, what is that? Uh, I'm trying to remember, it's a backup camera. I just can't remember the name brand right there, but you have a backup rear observation camera there on the back. It's escaping me the name of it. So let's go in here and take a look at this beautiful camper. Oh, Keystone product. So it is equipped with Solar Flex, but this one has uh, the Solar Flex 400. Basically, that's going to keep your battery charged, keep your lights on. You'll be able to run your slides out if you need to. Let's kick some lights on in here. Let's see where it lights. Bedroom light, night light, main light, garage light, awning light. In command system. So might as well talk about that while I'm here. You've got the in command system. It controls basically everything. The beauty about this, you can also do it from your smartphone. So if you are hooked up to campground Wi-Fi, you can turn the AC or the heat on remotely. If you're pulling up to the campground and you need to run your slides out by yourself, you can. Uh, it's also great if you're just being lazy and you need to turn the temperature up and down. You don't want to get up. It has fail safe, so you have the mobile phone. But there's also on the outside, there's some manual controls that you can run out there if you need to. So we're going to start back here in the bedroom. King-sized bed. Nightstands on both sides of the bed. You also have reading lights back there. And I really like how they did the... Uh, Oh, it's not a headboard. Yeah, I guess it is the headboard in this. You also have some additional storage over here to the side. You have a nice big uh, hanging closet here with plenty of space on top for additional stuff. And you are also washer dryer prepped back here. So you can do a stackable washer dryer and all in one. And again, more shelving space. You do have an AC back here in the bedroom. I told you this thing was loaded with AC. So that is ducted. And it is, uh, I forget what the BTUs is. I think it's 13,000 BTU. Directly across from the bed, we've got a bank of drawers and we've got our TV framed in. So it gives it that nice, clean, finished look, which I really like. Pass through bathroom. So we do have a porcelain toilet in here, which means you can use any of your cleaning equipment, any of your cleaning chemicals you want. Dual medicine cabinets with a nice big, 
bathroom sink uh, area with drawers and cabinets below and a big plus a sit down shower and again more cabinetry there you also have a max air vent in there to get rid of the steam and the stink we come down into the main living area this does feature eight foot slides so it's nice tall slides makes it feel roomier in here uh let's see what else do we want to go over in here we have our uh recliners right here or what do i want to call that love seat I cannot think today. It is Friday. You've got the nice big couch over here that does recline on both sides. Cabinets up above that love seat that I couldn't name a second ago. <laughs> and that is directly across from your entertainment area. So you'll see we've got a 50 inch flat screen TV that's telescopic. So it'll go down when you want to enjoy the view. You've got that Bluetooth stereo right below it with the inside speakers and the outside speakers. Another AC unit here in the living area. A nice big electric fireplace. I've had these in a lot of my units and they definitely will take the chill out of the majority of the camper and they're fantastic for early season and late season camping. But you can also turn them on just for the ambiance if you want. We work our way into the kitchen. Uh, you have soft close hardwood cabinets. You have solid surface countertops throughout. You've got a 16.5 cubic foot fridge uh let's see what else so i uh, cover the fridge nice big fridge and i really like this it's like a i don't know if that'll come through color wise on here but it's like a really cool like graphite gray freezers down here and you have spice rack spice rack Central vac system, so you don't need to bring the broom, the dustpan, all that good stuff. You've got uh, you've got that covered right there. We have a 24-inch range oven, three-burner oven. We have a 30-inch stainless steel convection microwave. Nice big stainless steel sink with, uh, what do they call it, chef-style detachable sprayer. And as you see, again, more cabinetry below. You also have another max air fan in here to pull out some of the heat if you need to when you're cooking. As we make our way back to the garage, you do have a place to hang your dog leashes, jackets, coats, whatever you want. You also have a little hidden bed up there. And I know a lot of people buy these for full-time living, uh, especially with families. I'll talk more about that when I get into the garage. But that's a great additional storage space if you don't need it for sleeping space. So I mentioned this is a 13-foot uh, garage. It is one-piece uh, floor decking, 25-year warranty on that. And the tie-downs are 5,000-pound frame-welded tie-downs. So you're not going to have any issue tying down whatever you need to back here. You do have the third AC back here, and you are ducted for heat back here. So you're not going to have an issue with being hot or cold back here. And I talked about people using these for full-time living. It's because this makes a perfect kid space because during the day, you've got a nice big play area. At night, you've got sleeping because those two on each side come down to be either couches or they fold into a bed. And you also have that additional bed up there. Speakers back here. TV back here with some storage up above and... You have the benefit of having a half bath back here. So you have your toilet, your sink with storage below. Half bath is great. Like I said, if, well, for multiple reasons, if you are dirty and muddy, you need to go to the bathroom, you can go there. You don't have to traipse through the camper. If you do have kids and they're staying back here, they don't have to wake mom and dad up when they're going to the bathroom. Or if you have guests hanging out at your campsite, they don't have to traipse all through your camper and go to your personal bathroom. They can come through here to the garage and use that bathroom there, which is super nice. There's that second entry door we talked about. You do have three season sliding glass doors on this, but you also, and you can see it in there, you also have screens. So if you've got bug issues, you can pull that close, still let that beautiful uh, camping night air in and not have to worry about the bugs. The uh, deck back here, uh, obviously it's your ramp when you want to pull something in, but it's additional living space or hangout space when you are at the campground. It is pet and kid friendly. 
you have separate solid entry steps here that railing will come across so it does form a nice additional hangout space if you want uh we didn't talk about price i did pass it it is one of our 2023 blowouts so you're looking at a retail price of 156 280 our price of 99999 so you're saving $56,281 on this. As always, if I missed anything, I fumbled over something and you want to point it out, uh, you have more questions, comments, concerns, just drop us a line down below. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Have a fantastic day.